let's start with the product of powers. So on this one, we'll just start with a very basic. This doesn't even have fractional exponents. We just start reviewing the property. So when you multiply like bases, we add exponents. That's just going to give us 4 to the 6th power. Okay, so let's try the second one over here. 8 to the 1 half times 8 to the 1 6. Well, we need to add those exponents. So let's get a common denominator. And in this case, our denominator would be 6. So that's going to be 8 to the 3 6 times 8 to the 1 6. And that's going to give us 8 to the 4 6. Now that reduces to the 2 thirds. So that will give us 8 to the 2 thirds power. Now we can evaluate that without using a calculator because we know that the denominator is telling us it's the cube root. So we know the cube root of 8 is 2 and then 2 squared. Once we use the denominator, we've got to square that and that just simplifies to 4. So there's our answer. That simplifies all the way down to 4. So let's try this next one. 2 to the 2 thirds times 2 to the 1 fourth. What's our common denominator is 12. So that means we need to multiply the first one by 4 over 4. So times 4 times 4. And that's going to give us 8 twelfths times 2 to the 3 twelfths because I would multiply 4 by 3 over 3 to get 3 twelfths. And that will combine to 2 to the 11 twelfths once I add my exponents. Now, 2 doesn't have a twelfth root, so we're finished with that one. There's no simplifying that can be done. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have 9 to the 3 halves times 9 to the 1 fourth. Let's get a common denominator of 4. So that's going to give us 6 fourths times 9 to the 1 fourth. And that's going to give us 9 to the 7 fourths power. And that we can't find a fourth root of 9. So we are finished with 9 to the 7 fourths. Okay, what if we're given the same type of problem, but it's in radical form? What we can actually do is rewrite it. So we have rational exponents. So we're going to write that to the 1 third. So 16, the cube root of 16 can be written as 16 to the 1 third times 16 to the 1 fifth. Now, to get a common denominator, we would get 15. So that would be 16 to the 5 fifteenths times 16 to the 3 fifteenths. And that simplifies to 16 to the 8 fifteenths. Then there's not a fifteenth root of 16, so there is our answer. That's how we